श्री कृष्ण श्री कृष्ण श्री कृष्ण श्री कृष्ण गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम when we live with the predominance of objectivity then we are caught up either in the worldly objects or we are enslaved by the sense organs or we are buried under the emotions at the mind these are the three areas where average rather every person is lost either the objective world or the sense organs or the mind and then his whole life is only buffeting between these three points sometime getting lost in choices of the objects and waste whole life only for choosing or the second thing lost in pampering the sense organs or the organs of action and whole life is spent only in pampering the sense organs or the third place we become extremely obsessed with our personal likes and dislikes and therefore if we are living only at these three levels we are a solid uh, samsari nobody can help us therefore after having gone through all these experiences of life when one starts inquiring come on what i have done since birth enjoyed the objects have i discovered fulfillment tempered the sense organs have they been satisfied tried to fulfill our personal likes and dislikes has it ever fulfilled see and when we thus think this thinking is indicated in kathopanishad in the words of nachiket when nachiketa was given all the things of the heavens to enjoy that time nachiket says to his guru yamaraj शोभावामर्त्य यदंतकैतंद्रियाण जरयति तेज अभी सर्व जीवित अल्पमे तवैववाहस्तव नृत्य गीत ओ गुरु महाराज यू आर गिविंग द टेम्पटेशन ऑफ द वर्ल्डली ऑब्जेक्ट्स हि से शोभावा शोभावा मीन्स एज दे आर टुडे टुमारो दे के नॉट बी टेक अवर बॉडी बॉडी इज मेड आउट ऑफ the food first the food is consumed by the father a seed is made then the food is consumed by the mother another seed is made these two seeds come together and start living on the food sucking the blood of the mother thereafter sucking the milk of the mother thereafter eating 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 so our whole gross body is only therefore is called as annamay kosha modifications of the food now this food if you keep it for 6 8 hours it gets rotten so that food out of which this body is made how it can remain eternally the same it has to rot one day see friends therefore we have to have a little bit wisdom the whole life is spent only by the body for the body on the body then we come to the second thing is pampering the sense organs ticklings there is no end to it see and the third thing is likes and dislikes no logic so if we the start thinking contemplating by analyzing our own experiences of life then we can think of something higher what for this life are we just born 
for none of our fault are we growing because the earth is moving yeah. around the sun and are we going to die one day because it is a formality to be completed what life is and when this kindles in our mind then we want to know something different something higher to such a person this vidyana bhairav is indicated now here also there are some cautions in the outer world prosperity name fame power this intoxicates a person in haridwar many years before there was a movement conducted by many citizens and mahatmas that let us make haridwar a nasha free place there should not be any nashili padarth so they wrote nicely and then they went to the old most respected mahatma who was not involved in anything to such a mahatma they went and they said sir if you sign here the first one people will be inspired to sign you please sign he said what is this they say nasha mukti this is what we want to do <laughs> he said what is nasha see uh, people should not have drinks and drugs etc that we want to get rid of he said who told you nasha is only that nasha is of the wealth nasha is that of the beauty nasha is that of the power nasha is that of the physical strength see these are the temptations in the outer world exactly the same way in the inner world when you start walking the spiritual path the inner world temptations are the siddhis you start discovering many divine powers surfacing in your life and then we start blessing the people removing their pains and becoming painful keeping these two points in mind that we must recognize spiritual evolution means not becoming extraordinary we have to drop every extra we have to come back to the point one see friends keeping this in view now we take the first dharana now yesterday i have explained you dharana means dharana dharana what is holding us on to what we are holding on either we are holding on to the money or we hold on to our body or we hold on to the worldly supports or we hold on to our sadhana no dharana hold on to yourself then the question comes who am i so here the dharana begins first dharana he said urdhve prano yado jivah visargatma paro chare utpatti dhitay sthane bharanan bharita sthiti mere vacha bhagwan says see visargatma visarga means movement what is the visargatma the prana even if you just keep quiet absolutely in deep sleep all your faculties are quiet but the prana is constantly moving so this is the visargatma now this visargatma we have to understand two ways first is urdho prano urdhve prano yado jivah yesterday i indicated you when the diaphragm becomes flattened by the first throb of consciousness after birth there is a vacuum created in the chest and as a result the air is sucked in so breathing in is called as apana and it is this moment the body is born the jiva is nothing but when the apana vayu enters the chest sucks the air and the life begins Now this is the jivana, 
But instead of recognizing the jiva na as a jiva na, we make it as a jiva. Now we delete. See, friends. So, yadu um, jiva ha. And after the air is sucked in, again the second throb of consciousness, because it is constantly moving. And therefore, again the air is thrown out, that is prana. So, when the prana is, the jiva goes out. And when the first air, air entered, the jiva is born. And in this manner, it is said that urdhve prano yado jiva ha visargatma para uchare. Para, this is the divine potentiality, this is paramatma shakti, this is devi. See, friends, be very, very attentive. Paramatma doesn't move. All movements are happening in Paramatma. See, the body is changing, I am not changing. The prana is changing, I am not changing. The mind is modifying, I am not modifying. The values are differing, I am not. The dream, waking, etc. comes and goes. I don't come and go anywhere. But what we can recognize is only the changing phenomena. And as a result, we get obsessed with the changes. Therefore, here it is said, Urdhvir prano yado jiva visar gata para uchare. So this is all happening in para, in the prakriti, in the energy, in the shakti, in the potentiality. And then what we have to do? Now we have to discover this Bhairava or Paramatma. Utpati Vitaya Sthane. Now this is another important point. See, if you uh, can uh, draw a line around your own body, how much distance? The distance is called as one span. One span of our palm. Tip of the thumb to the tip of the small finger. This is called technically as Dvadashangula. Dvadashangula means 12 fingers. So if you keep your four fingers, four fingers and other four fingers, so this distance is approximately the span of your palm for everyone. Now, <clears throat> from the nose, keep a distance of 12 fingers and that point and then draw a line around your whole body as if you are kept in a capsule. That point is called a Dvadashanta. Beyond that point, it is the general air. It is common for everyone. But when this air comes to this point, from here it starts becoming prana, apana, vyana, udana, samana. See, it is something like your uh, Wi-Fi area. <coughs> if your uh, phone or if your laptop is within the zone of the Wi-Fi, it can be connected. If it is beyond that, it cannot be connected. Exactly the same way. The Dvadashangula is the point where the air starts getting, coming in contact with this Parashakti and thus it becomes the Pancha Pranas and Pancha Upapranas. So that is one point. Therefore, Utpati Dutaya Sthane. So when the Apana is born, the Apana is born from the 12 fingers distance. From here, the Apana is born and it enters and becomes the all the physiological systems. Okay. After it enters, where does it end? It ends in the spiritual heart. The sternum. This is, the outer one is called as the Bahir Dvadashanta and this is called as Antar Dvadashanta. This is the inner one. See. 
from Muladhar up to the um, Manipur Dwadashala. From Manipur up to the heart Dwadashala. From the heart up to the Vishuddha Chakra, again Dwadashala. From the Vishuddha Chakra to the Bhru um, Madhya, Agya Chakra, again Dwadashala. From here up to the Sastra, again Dwadashala. From here up, again Dwadashala. These are the points. See. So the teacher says, first fix the external span point and then internal. Internal is the spiritual heart. Now, the apana vayu begins from outer dvadashanta and the prana becomes, uh, starts from the inner dvadashanta. So these are the two points, between these two points the air is moving and getting converted into the life force. If this is clear, Urdve prano yado jivaha visargatma para ucharet. Ucharet means moves. Uchara is not chanting. Ut means above, charan means movement. In this manner, this air is constantly moving in the form of the life energy. Then, bharanat marita sthitihi. Now, we have to remain extremely aware of these two points. Air has entered So we hold on to the inner point. Then air goes out. We hold on to the outer point. Now the mind is not going beyond these two points. And this movement is observed and then one day by God's grace it will click that the observer who is observing the movement is without the movement. He is not coming and going out anywhere. Like we come in and go out of this beautiful hall, the space in the hall doesn't come and go anywhere. Space is the same. In the same manner. Everything is happening in me. The air comes, the air goes. Air comes, air goes. By this, the movement of our mind is restricted. Now it is not running the world over, nor the objects, nor the experiences. It is just a movement of the air and we are aware of the outer point or the inner point. At this moment, if we are aware of our being awareness, mind dissolves. <coughs> Be attentive. 
we were knowing the movement of the air by the mind but because we are only aware of the movement by the mind so the movement will continue but i the awareness which eliminating the movement will be steady and by this practice slowly like we will discover this ability in us that all the experience is good and bad they will keep happening but nothing will disturb us then we will discover further i support waking dream deep sleep and samadhi i am not opposed to anything at the same time i am not influenced by anything this is the truth like our vision supports all colors and forms not opposed to any color and form but at the same time not influenced by any color and form and the best part is we are not doing anything therefore we didn't tell you sit in a particular posture do pranayam do japa no <coughs> we must not misunderstand that if we are thus living the uh, we will not feel cold or we will not feel hot no it will will be felt heat will be experienced cold will be experienced then our skin has not become dead it will be there but earlier we were influenced by little change in the climate now we will not be influenced it's not we will become deaf we'll hear everything but no sound will ever touch us similarly so many things around us we will experience all of them but they cannot influence us in the form of desire all kinds of thoughts will go through the mind good and bad but no thought will have potency to disturb us see friends living in this experience is dharana normally what is the misunderstanding that even if there is cold i don't feel cold then you are having some abnormality even if there is a noise i can't hear anything then you are deaf although there are many funny kind of things around you can't see then you are blind living in truth is not becoming unhealthy and abnormal See friends, but normally you will see people are attracted towards this. If you go to this uh, Kumbh Mela, there you can see all these types of Mahatmas. Two Mahatmas were sleeping next to uh, each other. Two beds. Beds were made of thorn. 
स्टील था और वुड से वो था अपने असली पी वन ने वन ऑफ देम गॉट अप सो अदर आर हे व्हाट आर यू डूइंग नो आई एम ट्राइंग टू फिक्स द मॉस्किटो नेट देयर टू मेनी मॉस्किटोस आर आउट यू आर स्लीपिंग ऑन द थॉर्न बेड बट द मॉस्किटोस आर डिस्टर्ब सी फ्रेंड्स experiences will be there but an experiencer will not be born so there is the experience of old but so ah no see this is the first dharana urve prano yado jivah visargatma para uchchare utpatti dite sthane वर्णान भरिता स्थिति नो एफर्ट्स आर इन्वॉल्व पतंजलि महाराज टेल्स ऑन वेरी गुड थिंग प्रयत्न शैथिल्य अनंत समापत्ति भ्याम दीज आर द टू टेक्निक्स फर्स्ट इज प्रयत्न शैथिल्य प्रयत्न शैथिल्य मीन्स वॉट मिनिमम मिनिमम एफर्ट्स वेन डू यू हैव मिनिमम एफर्ट्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल दोज हु आर हार्ड ऑफ हियरिंग दे हैव टू बुट लॉट ऑफ एफर्ट्स टू लिसन वाय बिकॉज दे आर नॉट नॉर्मल सो वेर एवर वी आर नॉट नॉर्मल वी हैव टू बुट एफर्ट्स वेन वी आर नॉर्मल नो एफर्ट्स now find out our own life are we struggling are we frustrated then you are going the wrong way if you are at peace with yourself no efforts our efforts are to improve others our efforts are to advise others our efforts are to help others and therefore we suffer so here when we thus come to discover this truth this is how the whole mechanics is slowly we start remaining more and more effortless and to that extent ananta samapatti to that extent we are approaching our divine nature ananta meaning what a husband is disturbed but slowly because of listening to sadhana text slowly slowly he doesn't get disturbed so he continues to be husband earlier he was disturbed now he is not disturbed so he is the realized husband he prays okay now the second dharana marutontar bahirvapi viyat yugmani vartanan bhairavya bhairavasyatham bhairavi vyajate vyapu the prana marutam is the air or the prana antar bahirvapi viyat yugmani vartanan so the air the breath is either going in or going out see and at that moment be attentive <clears throat> at that moment there is a very fraction of moment when there is a pause like the air has entered in the apana and before the air is thrown out prana there is a fraction of moment when there is a suspension of the movement of the air both inside as well as outside so first attention was on the movement of the air now in the second one the attention is the pause breathing in breathing out in out now attention is on those two points where there is a very small subtle pause we are not telling you to do kumbhak if you do kumbhak you are putting efforts 
no kumbha. Let the breathing happen. Be very attentive. When you do kumbha, the efforts are involved and you will have a limited time. You can't do kumbha for long. How long we have to do kumbha? I mean, you have to make it half an hour. Chila. Don't have to do kumbha. See, now be attentive. Breathing is naturally happening. Therefore, their I is not born. Nobody can have this thing. I am breathing, do you know, since childhood. No. Because breathing is not done, it is happening. Now the breathing involves two things. One is breathing in and out. And second thing is, when breathe out, hold for a second. When we breathe in, hold for a second. And therefore, the holding the breathing process, either inside or outside, it is not done, it is happening. And therefore, no effort is involved. Now, next step. Breathing is happening in the present. Then, for a split second, the holding the breath inside or outside is also happening in the present. So, when we thus remain aware of these two points where there is suspension of breathing without efforts, that is the experience of the reality. One must not change, alter the natural, natural rhythm of breathing which is happening. Don't change. Let it happen the way it is happening. One day, by God's grace, it clicks that the breathing becomes extremely slow and shallow without any efforts involved by us. And one doesn't go to sleep also. Many people, when they sit, they go to sleep because their mind is trained whenever there are no thoughts go to sleep. But the thought free mind will not go to sleep <coughs> because sleep is also a thought. Patanjali says, Abhava Pratyaya Lambana Vrittihi Nidra. What is sleep? Sleep is the mind takes the absence of the waking and dream as an object. And therefore sleep is also a thought. Therefore, Marutu Anta Bahir Vapi Vyad Yukmani Vartanan Bhairavya Bhairasya Itham Bhairavi Vijati Vapuhu at these two points, the truth is completely naked of all the conditions. What are the conditionings? The movement. Air is coming and going, is a movement. Freedom from the conditioning will be <coughs> absence of movement.
and then we discover all movements are established always with reference to the unmoving <coughs> reference see we talk about our childhood teenage etc the one who is talking he is the same see like all the movements are happening in the space space is not moving <coughs> similarly all the movements are happening in the colors and forms vision is the same vision is not moving meaning vision is not changing red green yellow no vision is the same all sounds are changing ears are the same see breathing is continuously changing but these two points they are the same thus when we become more and more aware about this phenomena we come to discover all things are changing and happening in me but nothing is changing or happening to me when the pot space realizes that the pot space is essentially the total space will the pot space have to destroy the pot will the pot space have to change the pot from the potty to go into a ganga kalash no because both the parts supported by the same space from the spaces point of view there is nothing like holy or unholy it is the conditioning which is attributing holiness or unholiness and therefore we told again and again really the truth is non specific existence non specific existence means that existence which is not opposed to anything we know that existence which is opposed to something our perception of existence is which is opposed to the absence like in my right hand what is there there is a book now i remove this now in your right hand there is no book so presence and absence of book but when we come to ourselves we support both the presence as well as the absence of the book and therefore we are beyond the presence and absence unopposed to anything therefore friends the real spiritual practice is remain unopposed we don't have to prove anything to anybody see friends सो मरुत बहिर्वापी वियजुग्मा निवर्तना भैरव्या भैरव से भैरवी व्यजते वो नौ दर्ड धारणा न व्रजे न विशेषक्ति मरुद्रूपा विकाशि निर्विकल्पतया मध्ये दया भैरव रूपिता न व्रजे न विशेषक्ति मरुद्रूपा विकाशि when the gap between the breathing in and breathing out is increased vikasite so nirvikalpataya madhe meaning one thought is over but the second thought has not yet begun that in between stage is called as madhya vikas expansion of the gap between the two bhagwan shankaracharya writes in his book sadachar wherein he says that the first thought has erupted 
but the second thought is not yet erupted. Sa sandhi sadhito yena samukta natra samchaya. The sandhi, the gap between two is called a sandhi. Night and morning. Gap is the Brahma Murta. Then morning, uh, before noon and afternoon. In between, there is the second sandhya, Madhyana sandhya. Evening is not yet over and night has not yet begun. That gap is the Sayam Sandhya. So here the Sandhya is being spoken. So, na vrajet vishe shakti marudrupa. So this para shakti, which is almost suspending all its movement. This happens when you are extremely aware that the breathing is slowly, slowly quieter. In the words of Bhagavad Gita, Nasabhyantara Charinav. The breathing is so slow and so shallow as if the air is moving within the nostrils. You are not doing it. To the extent our breathing is so slow and shallow, to that extent our mind remains quieter and quieter. So what is the technique involved here? We remain uninfluenced by any movement. Whether it is movement of the worldly objects or thoughts or breathing. The breathing becomes extremely slow and shallow, nasa bhintara charinav, within the nostrils. See? And in that experience, or that in the experience, that is the ultimate truth. Now be attentive. This experience is not created. This experience happens to everyone every day. <coughs> there is one text <coughs> with uh, what is the name of the text? Tripura Rasya. In Tripura Rasya, it is mentioned very clearly. Every person, every day, goes through Nirvikalpa Samadhi number of times. So we are not creating Nirvikalpa Samadhi. It is happening to every one of us. But we don't recognize that this is the Nirvikalpa Samadhi. Technically, the word is pratyabhidnyayate, recognition. And once you recognize, oh, this is what that, come on, understood, clear, no problem. See? Because this is not created, it happens. And once you get a knack of it, all the spiritual practice is just getting a knack of it. Knack, when I use the English word, we go, oh, what is the knack? If you say Sanskrit, ah, then it's true. See? Second chapter of Bhagavan says, Nasti buddhi ayuktasya. 
Ayukta means he who doesn't have the knack. What is the knack? Yeah. Yesterday I was seeing one small clip. There was a child and uh, there was the swing for the child to sit. Now if he goes and wants to sit on the uh, swing, it moves. He can't sit. So the child doesn't give. He develops his own technique. And as a result, without effort he sleeps in that uh, swing without falling. How it happened? He had the knack. See friends. Similarly, nasti buddhi ayuktasya. If you have a knack, you can get a message from every experience. Buddhi understanding. Nasti buddhi ayuktasya. Nacha yuktasya bhavana. He who doesn't have the knack, he can't even catch this experience. When all the movements are happening in that which is not moving. If I am looking at you, what is my experience? So many of you are there. This is a dumb experience. What is a wise experience? Why you are so many? Because in between there is a space. In between, there is nobody. So if I am able to recognize the space, then your presence and absence makes no difference to me. Nasti, buddhi, ayuktasya, nacha ayuktasya bhavana. So when my attention is on the space, how many of you are there, it makes no difference to me. In the same manner, if my attention is on the silence, it makes no difference to me what kind of thoughts are there. And then from this we further graduate. Whether thoughts or no thoughts, who cares? Because thoughts become many, because in between two thoughts there is no thought. In this manner, when we slowly start becoming more and more subtle in our bhavana, then this will be understood. That, na vrajet na vishe shakti marudrupa vikasite. So, the breathing is almost as if coming to a standstill. In Yoga Shastra, this is called as the Kevala Kumbhak. There are three types of Kumbhak. One is external kumbhak, bahir kumbhak. Second is internal kumbhak, antar kumbhak. But these two are done. Breathe out and hold the breath outside. Or uh, breathe in and hold the breath inside. Here efforts and I is involved. But if by this technique what we have learned, if you remain, slowly you will see that the kumbhaka will start happening without efforts. That is kevala kumbhaka. Kevala kumbhaka means the movement of the air in and out of the body is slowly coming to an end without attaining death. Therefore, when we are sitting for our prayers or meditation, we have to remember or be aware of this important point. When you are quiet, the breathing is slow and shallow, you are on the right track. But if the breathing becomes deep, then you are preparing to enter sleep. If the breathing becomes fast, you are going back to the body identification. The breathing must be slow and shallow.
zero efforts are involved. Prayatna Shaitirya. Now the next fourth dharana. Kumbita Rechita Vapi Purita Vayada Bhave Tadante Shantana Masa Shaktya Shanta Prakashate. Kumbita Rechita Vapi Purita. There are three stages in pranayam. One is the um, um, Purita Pranayam is breathing in, Rechita is breathing out, and Kumbita is holding the breath. Three of them. So Kumbita, Rechita, Vapi, Purita, Yada, Bhavet, then Tadante, Shantanamasu. At the end of this, the Pura Kumbhak or the um, Recha Kumbhak or the internal Kumbhak, three of them, in this, the Para Devi Shaktya Shanta Prakashate. Then the truth is revealed because be very attentive. Truth cannot be caught by any way. Then it can be laid by the Shakti. Shakti is manifest. Truth is unmanifest. And therefore in Shakti Upasana, in Tantra Shastra, like if you see the um, uh, life of, for example, Bhagavan Ram Krishna Paramahams. He was extremely devoted to the Kali Mata. So his individual Shakti was in tune with the total Shakti. And therefore anything he has to do or not do, he used to ask, let me ask Ma. That means he is to go back to the total energy. And there he is to get the messages. Therefore, when his guru asked him to give up the form, because energy with the form is the goddesses. And when the forms are discarded, the energy goes back to the formless reality. So when his guru asked him to drop the form of the Devi, then he said, let me ask him, my mother, whether she says yes or no, I'll come. So mother says, yes, go. And then for him, it was not a problem at all. He just sat quiet in a fraction of a second. He dropped the form of the mother and he merged in the absolute. For three, four days, he was absolutely in one, like a rock position. That time in his writing it comes, his guru was telling, to attain this, people take years together. How come he got it so quick? Because he has already invoked the Shakti. And this is what is the technique here. So, Kumbhita, Rechita, Vapi, Purita, Yada, Bhavet. Therefore, when the Shakti becomes Recha Kumbhak or the Pura Kumbhak or the Antar Kumbhak, then slowly, slowly, when this throb of the consciousness is reduced to minimum, you go back to that whose throb was that. See, now try to understand this through one example. Although there cannot be any example which can indicate the truth. We have to compromise. So when we are playing in the waves, in the ocean, we are buffeted by the waves up and down, up and down. Then suppose the ocean becomes quiet. So we are out of the waves and enter the ocean. And if we become extremely well versed in swimming, then we are out of the ocean, now we are in the water. So when we come to the water, we will not be drowned in the ocean. When we come to the ocean, we will not be buffeted by the waves. Waves buffet us, when waves quieten, we come to the ocean. But the ocean can drown us, but when we come to the water, the water cannot drown us. This is the process. Okay. 
therefore this when <coughs> the movement activities they are slowly quieted and the quieting is called as kumbhak kumbhak means what if you take a kumbha a pot and put it in the ocean what will happen water will be inside outside the pot and the pot will be submerged in the ocean or any big tank exactly the same way when we are able to attain this kumbhak without much efforts the slowly slowly we merge in the absolute merging in the absolute is giving up the body identification giving up the notion that i am a soul or a jiva and thereafter we enter the state of the jiva na the life principle the life principle is neither bound nor liberated the life principle is neither feminine nor masculine the life principle is neither human being nor animal the life principle is neither plant nor human beings come to that stage therefore kumbita rechita vapi purita va yada bhavet tadante shanta nama sau we come to the shanta so now the shakti is there but it is not modified it is not changing it is ever the same be attend you in electricity the energy there is no light but when the same electricity expresses through the bulb then as if the electricity got modified and the modified expression of electricity is light same the eternal energy when it gets modified through the body it becomes prana apana and when we switch off the bulb there is no loss to the electricity electricity is still there exactly the same way when we are able to maintain quietness mentally breathing wise etc slowly we are able to catch that point and once we catch that point then after it makes no difference whether there is a noise or no noise who cares but initially we get too much influence those who are the victims of vipassana they must have experienced this they give too much importance to the silence don't talk to anybody look down don't look here and there look at your toe when you walk outside you may not talk inside volcanoes gusur 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 no don't do it forcibly let it happen through wisdom and understanding okay. and there for such people half an hour meditation rest of the day frustration and then they want to do something for others apna to satyanash ke because they have to pay they need is that uh, pyramid type i learned from you i have paid you then you say okay now you, i authorize you to cheat others then i do that i collect money so much percentage remains with me remaining percentage goes to my guru then the third one again it goes on that these are all the cartoons of spiritual life don't get involved in that like a flower doesn't give fragrance and therefore a flower has no ego or arrogance whether the flower is on the top of the god's head or it is on a dead body it makes no difference because the flower has fragrance doesn't give fragrance the ocean the 
Our sun has light, doesn't give light. Therefore, whether somebody does Gayatri Mantra or not, it makes no difference to the sun. It is for us we are doing. In this manner, when we thus come back to our essential nature, then we will live very much in this world, but the world will have no impact on us. We don't have to go anywhere in the forest, in a cave, no need. But then we want to do sadhana. Okay. Maharaj, give me some mantra. Okay, take mantra. Which mantra? Uh, okay, take. Sri Ram, Jai Ram, Jai Jai Ram. How many times have to do? Maybe about one mala is enough. Okay. Thereafter, first do. Oh, this I can do in no time. Okay, do it. Then I'll tell you. Now the person is going. When he approaches the door to go out, Mahatma says, hey, come here, come here. I forgot to tell you one thing. What? When you are chanting Sri Ram, Jai Ram, Jai Jai Ram, don't think of a monkey. That's all. Then he goes, Sri Ram, Jai Ram, Jai Jai Ram. But what is wrong with the monkey? Sri Ram, Jai Ram, Jai Jai Ram. On the contrary, he was a devotee of Bhagavan Ram. Sri Ram, Jai Ram, Jai Jai Ram. But why the monkey is Sri Ram, Jai Ram, Jai Jai Ram. In whole life, Ram, monkey, monkey, Ram is not monkey. <laughs> Don't get carried away by all those things. Only recognize this truth. Wherever there is a movement, it is supported by the unchanging substratum. Hold on to the substratum, there you are. See? Color, form, changing, substratum, vision. Sense organs changing, substratum, mind. Thoughts changing, substratum, I. I manifest or doesn't manifest, substratum, anandamaya kosha. Anandamaya kosha is temporary, substratum, absolute reality. You don't have to do anything. Therefore, the real spiritual practice is undoing and unbecoming. We don't have to become someone extraordinary, no. Living in this mode 24 7 is meditation. Amulat kirana bhasam sukshma sukshma taratmikam chintayetam dushakakante shamyanti bhairavo daya. Now, from here, the one or next one or two of them are with reference to the various chakras. You all are very well read, you know. Amulat from the muladhar chakra, like amarana up to the death. So, from Amulat Kirana Bhasam. Just feel the light rays are coming up and Sukshma Sukshma Taratmikam. And then that light ray is extremely subtler than the subtlest. And Chintaye, thus go on imagining. And Dvishatakante. And then they are gone beyond the Dvishataka means the. Dvada Shangula up to here and Shamyanti and then it quietens, it dissolves. Now this is one of the techniques told. So when you are sitting quiet in that start imagining that the light ray has come and gone straight away up to Dvada and disappear. Again come back. Again starts, disappeared. 
and in the disappearance remain as long as you can. Slowly, slowly, the mind, it is something like doing the japa. Om Shivaya, That is the sound used as a support. Now here the light is used as support. So we begin from the um, Muladhar and straight away go up there and it disappears. When the mind is thus kept busy, all the worldly themes and worldly talks disappear. And then this process goes very slow, not in a hurry. So, the <coughs> Kundalini Shakti or the energy or the uh, divine power slowly going up, right up to the top. Keep on imagining it. Chintayet. Then, Shamyanti. Slowly, slowly this process will become slowly cooled and become quiet. And as a result, there will be only the experience of being. Where this moment was happening in me. So I am the same. Whether the first time it has come and gone, the second time it has come and gone, I am ever the same. After few rounds, if one is extremely aware, it quietens. And the quietening is immediately reflected in our breathing process. Breathing becomes very slow and very shallow. Shamyanti becomes quiet and quiet and quiet. In that quietness, we are able to cognize. But this quietness is not opposed to sounds. Please remember this basic. When we are talking about silence, we are not talking about that silence which is against the sound. That's a relative. We are talking about absolute. That silence which is not disturbed by the sounds and that silence which is not enhanced by the silence is the ultimate one. So, Amulat Kirana Basam Sukshma Sukshmataratmikam Kintayetam Dvishadha Kante Shamyanti Vairava Orku Vairavi Daya. Now, about this <coughs> Kundalini and various chakras, there are many subtle points we have to very clearly understand. If we are uh, living more and more in awareness and less and less in the prakriti. See, the sadhana is of two types. In one type of sadhana, prakriti is given too much importance. This is what happens in Patanjali Yoga Darsha. Patanjali talks about that, first of all, the yoga chitta vritti niroda. So spend your whole life in controlling the mind, it never happens. That is prakriti pradhan. See? And the second is Chaitanya Pradhan. This is Chaitanya Pradhan Sadhana. <coughs> Therefore, the dharana in Patanjali is based on the mind aspect and the dharana in this Tantra Shastra is based on the awareness aspect. And therefore, these two things, they appear to be same, but the approach is totally different. We have to 
instead of getting lost in the prakriti, control, 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 instead of that, you try to learn and understand what is your nature. Then you will see that like the wrinkles cannot destroy the cloth, like the waves cannot add to the ocean, or you cannot subtract anything from the ocean in the same manner. All these waking, dream, deep sleep, good thoughts, bad thoughts, health or disease, longevity or short life has nothing to do with me. And therefore, those who are following this path, they don't talk about this. That if you follow this thing, you will remain healthy. If you follow, you will live long. No, 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 no. It has nothing to do. The self is, the truth is, neither healthy nor unhealthy. Neither lives long nor lives short. It is eternal. So this path that we are talking about is based on, more on attention on the conscious unchanging reality and transcending the modification, knowing well. Prakriti is that where Vikruti is bound to be. You cannot stop becoming old. It's bound to happen. And what we have done to become old? But that also creates an ego. Dhup me baal sabed nahi ke hai. Ho tab na. You tell me, old people are so arrogant about their age, what is their contribution? What they, you have done to become old? No, every day add one more. Prakriti, Vikruti is nature. But with that also there is a identification, Abhiman. When you thus give importance to the awareness, the consciousness, you are following this path. If you get lost in yoga, keep on doing asana, twist the body and talk only about health and longevity and die one day yogically. Om Purnamadaha Purnamidam Purnaha Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishate Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Sri Guru Vyodamaha Hari Om